what's up guys this is opi joseph Trail, and this is his, my channel i have soft baits all kinds of baits and i'm just going to be showing you all my baits so i have my thing soft baits right here i got cinco's got jigs got these crawfish my favorite i do not i have no idea it's half it's definitely my favorite like soft bait is definitely the little crawfish right there. A crawfish is my favorite one. And I was going to fill some of my stuff. So I have these tattletail swim baits. Some pike like the bite them off sometimes. I have these worms. I mean not worms but they're not worms, but they're, it says on the package, yum, they're lizards, I have another, I got some of these, these are really good too, if, right before I caught my big bass, on um, this bait right here, same does, same, same bait, but this kind of bait right here, a four pound bass, but I just switched soft baits to the crawfish. I had these ones on right here. My one, one of my favorite uh, soft baits are this. I really love the use on stuff. Then I got these uh, like fish. And I got some more of uh, the lizards. And I got some spinner baits. Some cheap ones you can get for like a dollar. Then if you switch over, there's some expensive ones you can get. Like if you want to put traders on that, I really like to. And like instead of tying it on, put shrimp tube on here and just light it up. Yeah, I like to put traders on. If you put traders on. You don't have to match it, but I like to sometimes. But not a lot. I don't like to, but if you do it a lot, then it's kind of just not going to look so cool. Well, I'm going to go through all of like, my spinner baits and stuff. I'm going to try a little quick because I only got a couple of minutes. So, I got this green one here. It's pretty cool. I got this red one. I actually caught a pretty ni nice pike on it. It was in the thir in the twenties. I got this one. Sometimes I mistake this one with my expensive one, but it kind of matches it. And like a blade, you can tell by the blade if it's expensive. Because if the, the expensive ones have like colored blades. Cheap ones have no blades, they're just gray, or boring. And I have this red one, same one I just showed you, but just different. Right here. Some of them might be jigged up here, because when last year, when I wasn't that good of a fisherman, I would come on. Now I'm better. Come on, I quit. Before I was, come on, weird. And I actually have this one too. I like this one, but you should like keep it on, on the top of the water. And this is like kind of like a shark. This will pop out of the water. Then this, well, like the frog will paddle with his feet. That's really cool. And I don't know what I was doing here. I cut the tail off. I don't know what I'm doing. Like that, I don't know what I was doing. Um, then, like before, here, now I'm over into my expensive ones. Here's one of them. It's really cool, I like it. And by the way, with my expensive ones, there's a lot of them. So I'll try to take that five minutes to go through them. And I have this one. You can get this from Mystery Tackle Box. Shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for all of the stuff they give me. And uh, this one too. 
from most of these are from Walmart. I got some from like Amazon and stuff. Um, I got this one too. Before I I have a bigger worm on this one. I like the bigger one for the bigger tree there. And I have this white spinnerbait. This one used to be my favorite with that little tail. It ain't my favorite now, but it used to be. And you have my big spinnerbait right here. And I never caught on think anything on this. Uh, just to tell you, you get so many snakes with this, especially in rivers. Like you get so many snakes on rocks and stuff. Then we have this one. This one doesn't have a blade cutter. Some don't, but you can tell if they don't have a blade cutter, then it's gonna be twisted up here. This is one of my old ones. It's been up. We used to use flute flutes for these ones. Like you can tell this is one of the Dollar ones, not a dollar, but how they used to make them, like this. And then we have some mini spinner baits too. Mini ones are okay. Sometimes you can hook really big fish with them. You have the mini mini ones are like this big. They're tiny. And going on this one i find a lot of ones like this in my dam in my town and here's a little one no spinner rate it's a mini mini one too and i have this one it's i like to use these black ones like when i'm in my down by in my city and this one is one of my favorites it has like them eyes there it's really cool i found that one this one is my old old version of the one i was showing you before it's all beat up from one of my biggest fish and we got some mini spinner baits right here and we have one of these i caught many fish on one like this but i actually lost it as a they cut my line snapped when i casted it was like it would be it was a jig but the jig could reel i wouldn't get it it's pretty weird but the part about that is it just didn't look as good when it had that it did look better than what normally it would look like, but I didn't like it like that. It was like all messed up when you had it like that. I, I liked it more than this. I don't really like this one that much, so ain't that big of a difference. I just took off that flute and put this one on. I don't really like about having like the white ones in there it gets stained and it looks so cool then i have this little spinner bait right here and that's it for my spinner baits then we're going to be moving on to my musky baits right here i have my duck bait i don't really use it because it always gets messed up with my leader but i never really use it I like having the hooks free. You have them free. Free. There's a lot better. Yeah, the bottom ones are stuck. I tried to get it off. They're stuck there. But the top one comes off. It's an 8 inch one. Then we have. A whopper flapper. It's a different kind of one. It has like these two as whopper flappers. This one sits on the bottom. This comes with a trader. This whopper flapper comes with a trader. Then we have 
this bait. <coughs> and this is a really good one. I really like it. Well, it ain't the best one, but it's okay. And we have this one. I really like this one. It's my favorite swim bait. That tail is like, it's like what they use for brooms, that tail there. It's really cool. And I have my most heaviest bait. Right here. My big spinner bait pulls harder and it's a little bit tighter than this. But what I like about this is like the blades that go lows in the dark. So like if you're fishing at dark, the blades will grow. I really like that. And I have, and it's really cool. Like you put a spring on there and you can put a soft bait on the bottom like that. It, it's kind of, it pulls really hard when it comes to the water, but it's really fun to use, especially when you're fishing for big fish. And I have my favorite musky baits, these. I have one more. I actually have a different size. So I would use this one for pike, real, like little pike. I'll use these ones for big pike and musky. I, that's my favorite bait. I usually just use the big one for pike and musky, for real pike and stuff. Then I have one of my favorite baits, the snake. It's my, one of my favorite baits, probably my second favorite. I don't like to use it a lot, but it's fun using it. And watching, we're going to head out into our travel hooks. We have, I'm just going to start going just one because I won't have a lot of time. So I have inline baits. I'm going to try to go fast as I can now. I have my like we put the tails on there. We're gonna start like selling them. We put the tails on there on people's crankbaits. I got this little inline here, the shark inline. I got poppers. I found both of these poppers right here. I really like, I don't love poppers. I, they're okay to use, but I don't love them. Then I have some rattle traps here. This is a gold one. I really like this one with the tail. It looks really cool. Some chatter baits. I really like this trailer on it. It's pretty cool. And buzz baits I have. I got these little jigs. I got frogs. I have some of these looking baits. And bye. See you next time.